State Councillor of Myanmar Aung San Suu Kyi has broken silence on the Myanmar issue and has condemned the human rights abuses in Rakhine State, where violence last month has triggered an outflow of 421,000 Rohingya Muslims to seek refuge in neighbouring Bangladesh. Suu Kyi has assured that those involved in creating violence will be punished. She also clarified the usage of word Rakhine instead of Rohingya, stating that it will further inflame outburst to deal with it and we have to resolve it. So obviously it's not something that we can do overnight and it's not something that uh, we can uh, find simple answers to because building up trust and harmony between two communities that have uh, in many parts of that region been hostile to one another uh, is not done easily. Kenya's Supreme Court has refused to reverse its decision to annul August's presidential election. Kenyan Chief Justice David Muraga told the court that their power was donated to them by the Kenyan people and the court could not turn away from constitutional violations. This court is one of those to whom the sovereign power has been delegated under Article 1, 3C of the Constitution. All its power, including the invalidating of the presidential election, is not self-given nor forcefully taken, but is donated by the people of Kenya. Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos pledged aid and assistance to Mexico after the devastating 7.1 magnitude quake rocked Mexico City on Tuesday, which claimed over 200 lives. United States First Lady Melania Trump during a luncheon at the U.S. Mission to the United Nations in New York called on world leaders to step up to improve the lives of children to secure their future. Whether it is drug addiction, bullying, poverty, disease, trafficking, illiteracy or hunger, it is the children who are hit first and hardest in any country. The UN Security Council passed a resolution to reform peacekeeping operations. US President Trump pushed hard for the cost-cutting measure, which passed unanimously. Vice President Michael Pence voted on behalf of the United States. Given the current global security dynamics, UN cannot handle new and emerging peace and security challenges alone. And forging effective partnership with regional and sub-regional organizations is the most sensible and logical thing to do. America first does not mean America alone. As the president said, we will forever be a great friend of the world. And it's because of that commitment that he sent me here today to this Security Council to reiterate our call for fundamental reforms of UN peacekeeping and our determination to see this institution do even more to keep the peace across the wider world.